What's up everyone, Andre here to take a look at the 3.0 update that just came out for Super Mario Maker 2. So let's hop in here and check it out. Because it added a ton of new features, uh, which we're going to check out all of in this video, except for maybe the World uh, the world Maker, which we'll be checking out in a separate video. Alright, so first of all, we have the brand new uh, power-ups, which uh, there's one for each style, except for the 3D World style, which has multiple. And Super Mario Brothers gets the Super Mario Brothers 2 Mushroom. Let me actually get to a place where I can use it. Yes! You get the classic music! And this allows us to actually hop on enemies without destroying them, and we can pick them up by crouching and pressing Y. There we go, we can throw them and use them as projectiles, just like Mario 2. How cool is that? Now, one, a couple things to keep in mind, though, is it doesn't work on every enemy, so we can't ride Boom Boom around, but we can throw enemies at him, and he makes a classic boss sound. It's hilarious. Uh, we can pick up this uh, Buzzy Beetle, throw him, and he'll even move along the ground. As you may have also saw, we can do the super jump as well, uh, if I figure it out. There we go! Great! Um, so yeah, that's super, super useful. So, there you go, um, that's Mario 2, so let's go move on to another style, being Mario 3. Let's see what this one has. We already know what it has. It has a frog suit. There we go. It's already a go. Bam! So the hopping around on land definitely feels a little bit different than I remember. It's similar, but the physics or the momentum is definitely a little bit off. But it's not bad. Now look, if we grab the shell, we can actually run- Oops! I already, <laughs> I already screwed it up. Uh, by grabbing a shell, we can actually run around um, just like that. Which is super useful if there's water, because check this out. First off, let's change it to a water style course. And let's go ahead and adjust the water level to a point where we can reach it. Let's say... Right about... I think that should do it. Okay, let's go ahead and get that frog suit. And there's a couple things we'll be able to show off here. Now, if you played Mario 3 before, then, you're, you're, then you know half of this, of course. And that is, being able to swim in water is so much nicer! Look at that! It's way faster, it's way quicker. Look at poor Boom Boom there. Yeah, you. I bet you wish you had a frog suit. Uh, we can easily hop out of the water, but if we have a uh, something we can grab, like a shell... Oh no! Alright, well I just totally botched that. Let's try that one more time. Let's grab the shell first this time. There we go, and we'll wait for the water level to come up. And then as long as we're running while holding some- oh god! Alright, that is not going to work either. Um, <laughs> there we go. Get up there! Come on, run, 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 run! Yeah, you can run along water! I only shut off for a second before the Koopa Troopa got me. But as long as you're holding something and running, you can run across water as Frog Mario now. That was never in Mario 3. Entirely new, super cool. Next up, Mario World. This time we have the Power Balloon, which you might remember from the actual game. It wasn't used too often, but it pop up every now and then. Um, but there's one key difference this time. And that is... It's, he can fart! Okay, he's not actually farting. But he can move around uh, by holding Y. Um, if you don't hold Y, you can hover in place, or you can move around slowly. But by holding Y, you're essentially running in the air and go wherever you want. Um, this is completely wild. This is not in the original game at all. You can only move very slowly in, uh, in a few different directions, or I guess any direction. Um, but yeah, it was very slow. This is mu you have much more control now. Uh, the thing is though, and unlike the original game, it never runs out as far as I can tell. Um, until you get hit. Like that. There you go. Alright, so that is uh, the the uh, classic power-ups that they brought back in a new way. But while we're here, before we move on to 3D World's power-ups, let's go ahead and check out some of the new enemies. So we should have some new Koopalings and Mecha Koopas. So let's start off with the Mecha Koopas. Let's go ahead and place, them, place one here. We'll grab another. We'll go to one of my other forms. If I can remember how to do this, there we go. I have not played with a controller in forever. And final one is blue. There we go, okay. And let's give Mario a mushroom or something. There we go, all right, so we got three of these guys. You remember the standard green ones? Whoa, okay, we can throw them around. Oh dear God, those blue ones are terrifying. So the red ones spit fire, or homing missiles, I believe, and the blue ones now spit fire. Let's check that out again. This is wild. So we can throw the green ones around like like you like normal. 
The red one fired that homing missile, and the blue ones are just vicious. Oh, he even destroyed his friend! His comrade! Wow! Luckily, we can still uh, kill them by, you know, knocking them around. And let's throw out the boom boom. There we go, and we wrecked it. All right! There's one more thing we have to check out with these guys. While we're in this style, at least. And let's go to nighttime. Because I think at least the blue ones will behave differently. Okay, we're gonna try and avoid them this time. I wish I gave them some more safe terrain. Okay, I thought they hovered around. It might be in a different style or a different um, level theme, perhaps. Let's check the castle, for instance. Okay, I don't think it's going to be here. Alright, I don't know where it is, but we will check them out in at least one other style to see how they look, because they originally started in um, Mario World, so let's see how they look in Mario 3. Oh, let's turn off the night thing, too. Oh, that's a pretty great look for them. I kind of love it. And we gotta go Super Mario Brothers. And we're Big Mario. All right, I love it. I love that classic look. That classic look that never existed before until now. And of course, we gotta check out their modern incarnation, which again, they never appeared in, or did they appear in the new Super Mario Brothers games? I don't think so. Oh, and we, we forgot to check out this power up too. It's a good thing we came here. All right, so that's them in the new Super Mario Brothers U style. Uh, we also have the propeller suit, as you can see. Um, it controls just like in the games as well. Or actually, you know, I'm sorry. That is not a new power-up, but we did forget to check out the new power-up. Which is the, uh, the flying squirrel. There we go. Here's a flying squirrel. Do we not check this out? I, yeah, I don't think we did. Um, so yeah, it controls just like new Super Mario Brothers U. You can fly around, float around. Triple jump. Yeah, that actually feels pretty great. So they added a ton of flying options in this update, and it is fantastic. All right, good. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to... Actually, while we're still in these classic styles, let's check out that new key item, which I'm guessing is going to be over here. Not that key. Unless that is the key. It might be an option with it. No, it isn't. Um, oh, you know what? I think it might be the only the classic style. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers. This is from Super Mario Brothers 2 originally. Okay. There we go. That is a going to be a Fanto a Fanto key, I believe. Get rid of these guys so they don't murder me instantly. And let's go ahead and change Mario into a more regular form. Or Mario 2 works. So, oh, we need a locked door. Good to know. Look, it's right next to it. Okay, so we'll grab the key. That'll be the locked door, but along with the key comes this mask. Oh, dear God. This thing scared the crap out of me in Mario 2. Whoa. Oh, right. Oh, man. He's already getting me. All right, let's, let's go and try to use this key. There we go. We made it. We made it five feet. And I wonder... Let's try it one more time. I want to see what happens. Um, does, does the mask just give up on us if we... First of all, let's see how far away we can run from the mask. Alright, we ran... Oh, jeez, that guy is fast! Alright, I don't think you can outrun him in this game. That is the ultimate stalking enemy. Ah, terrifying! All right, so it, the mask is still here, and does that take it out? That does, okay. So there we go, that is the uh, mask enemy, which is super neat. All right, now we can go ahead and move on to the 3D World style. For, I, well, I believe, our five more power-ups, I think? An insane amount. All right, we need some terrain here. We also want a happier level theme. In the ghost house. Like ground! Who doesn't love the ground theme? 
Especially with the sound effects, you know, along, uh, singing along. Okay, so the power-ups... Okay, so we have the new boomerang flower. We're gonna plop it there, along with a couple of enemies. And a clear pipe, too. Sure, why not? Okay. So this is the primary new power-up. Yeah! And it goes through clear pipes, too. I love that. So let's throw it in the clear pipe, and let's try to go around... Oh, I have an idea. Oh, wow, did you see that? That was wild. Let's try that one more time. Okay, so it can't get... It can't get back up to me. Oh, that's so interesting. So it'll keep flying around for a while. So it'll fall, it seems like it'll follow us around as long as we're above it. So that is really cool. So, yeah, we've never seen... I don't think we've seen... Or I know we haven't seen this in a 2D setting before. Super neat. That's a fun application to play around with. All right, but we're not done yet. There's more things to play around with. Including... Here we are, the brand new items! Alright, let's try... We can just put all these down, I think, can't we? We'll, we'll go one at a time. Cannon block. You hold down Y to shoot. Or you just tap it to shoot multiple times. Or you hold it up to charge a super shot. Which seems like it's faster. Yes, it is! They too can go through clear pipes, so... Good to know. It seems like there's no way to get rid of the uh, helmet unless we get hit. So we'll move on to the next one. Oh, actually, we can probably just... Can we just, uh... Put the cursor on and change it that way? No, we can't. Oh, we can make them fly, too! There it goes! Yeah. Okay, so they are all treated as completely separate objects. Propeller block. This is going to be very similar to the propeller suit we just got a little look at a moment ago. And there it is. Yeah, so that's not particularly exciting. Nothing really new with this. You can drill after flying, which I do like. Oh, and you can do two... Oh, you can do a few twirls. Let's see how many you can do. Three twirls, all right. Good to know. You got another flying contraption added to this game. We have the Goomba mask. Oh, I've been looking forward to this one. So check this out. See... Does that Goomba see me? Yeah, the Goomba sees me, but put a mask on, it has no idea. Thinks I'm a friend now. But if I stomp, let's see what happens if I stomp his buddy next to him. All right, let's stomp the Goomba, actually. Go Koopa Troopa does not care. Just to be sure, let's put down two Goombas, since they are more self-aware, it seems. I'll put down a few Goombas. Yeah, they don't care. I can murder all their friends as long as, I'm, as long as they think I'm a Goomba. It's totally okay. So that is super cool. Let's see if that works on Bowser. Or Meowser, I should say. Oops, that did not work. Actually, let's put, let's... Can we change it? No, we can't. Whoa, God. All right, sure, that's fine. Okay. It seems that, yeah, it looks like Bowser just ignore us. Meowser. Great, so it seems, I'm guessing it'll work on every enemy. Oh, we've already seen it doesn't work on Thwomps in the trailer, so very cool, I love that. Next up. We did now get back to the items here. We have the Bullet Bill Mask. This one looks fun. Oh, I might, might help if I put it down. So we can fly around in the air with this. So to fly around is uh, tap B in the air or hold B. And looks like we can't turn around. Oh, it does run out does run out of energy though. Good to know. The trailer looked like it might be in the trailer it looked like it might be infinite, but it is not. And oh if you run into if you run into anything, you, you instantly lose it. Alright, there you go. Let's see if we can take out enemies with it too. Um This actually might be difficult. Are there. We'll give you wings. And we'll give you a mushroom to make you easier to hit. Okay. Hey, 
Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, I got back! Oh, I put, I put a whole bunch of them down, that's why. Oh! Interesting! So you can just rocket enemies, just like a bullet bill! I love it! That's so cool! Alright, one more. The pal block. Alright. So, okay, that didn't do much of anything. Let's try that again. Okay. So, I wonder... I have all these power-ups in the way now. So, do we actually... I think we actually hit... We have to hit something with it above us, so... In that case... Let's put some blocks above us. So we're learning. This is a learning experience. There we go. Yeah, that did it. In case you missed it. Let's try that one more time. Alright. Bam! You can see the W disappeared. Meaning we are down by one. So we do it two more times to go away. So, there you go. Um, next up we have the on and off trampoline. God, these, those hats are going to be fun. I really love that Bullet Bill hat. I think we've gone... Have we gone too far? Nope. All right, here we go. So we have uh, dollar line blocks, which are new to the 3D World style, but nothing new to the other styles. You can, again, change the color with that, and then... We can bring in the on-off trampolines. So we'll leave that one as is. There we go. Okay, and then we need the on-off block itself. On-off switch, I should say. Okay, let's see if this works at all. Yep, so we hit it. The It changes from a bouncy block to a non-bouncy block. So I'm not quite sure what all applications you can do with this. Um, but yeah, there you go. You can uh, set up ramps this way if you want, or you know, a, a staircase if you will. And I think that about covers it, except for one major feature left, everyone. We need to go back to the uh, older style for it, though. Let's start off with... Super Mario Brothers. Okay. This is gonna be our little Koopaling cage because the Koopalings are now a brand new enemy type. Here they are, they get their own entire wheel. Love it. So we got Larry. We have. Iggy. We have Wendy. Lemmy. Oh wait, we already... Oh, yeah, that's different, that's right. <laughs> they actually look very similar in the um, classic style. Oops, we don't want to do that. Roy. Morton! Always one of my favorites. And then, finally, Ludwig. All right, cool. Let's give Mario a mushroom or fire flower. Let's check these these guys and girl out. Oh my God! Oh dear! Oh God! They actually move a little bit like Bowser did, or Bowser does, I should say. I love this. Oh, this is great. They retain the properties from their uh, Mario Three appearance. It looks like. So if we go to Mario 3, this will look a little bit more familiar, I imagine. Uh, we only have one of each down, as you can see. Now let's put a platform here so I have somewhere to stand and watch from a safe distance, hopefully. Whoa, my god. Whoa! Not that safe, but safer. Love this! This is so freaking cool! And then I have to test one more thing. I wonder if you can put them in warp pipes. Because in Mario World especially, or at least in Mario World, they will pop out of these. Okay, doesn't look like you can, so... Let's go over to Mario World. Oh, Wendy looks great in this! 
They, so their sprites do look different. The sprites are already done like Bowser. Um, which is very interesting. And they behave like they did in Mario 3, uh, rather than they did in Mario World. Or rather, it's born based on Mario 3 and the Mario World. Hey, we took one out. Alright. And let's just make sure they can't go in the pipe. Yeah, it does not seem like... Wait? Oh no, I'm just stacking them. Oh my god. Oh dear. This is gonna be terrifying. We have a wall of Kooplings, everyone. Oh! Oh my god, look at that. Amazing. I love this. You can really go next level with your boss fights now. Holy god! Alright, <laughs> that is terrifying. Um, we have one more thing to check out, and that is New Super Mario Bros. U. And they look just like they did in that game. I probably should have separated them um, before, <laughs> um, or put them stacked up afterward. But I think you get the idea. They work just like they did in the um, actual games. The projectiles might be a slightly different. It looks like some of them are shooting three now. I don't know if they did that before or not, but yeah, very cool. I love how close they are to the classic games. So everyone, that is a look at um, the Super Mario Maker 2, uh, Super Mario Maker 2 3.0 update. Let's do one more quick check of, uh, just make sure there's no other major new features. There's a World Maker accessible right here. We'll have a separate video for this. So if you want to see more beyond um, this little intro I'm giving you, definitely check out our video. That might actually already be up by this point. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button and ring that bell for more in Super Mario Maker 2. And we will catch you later. Bye, everyone.